But this can also happen where you have a parity where this edge right here and this edge right here need to be switched around. So here's how to do that. First what you do is you hold it like this so that one of them is facing you on the top and you uh, just do the right twice and the top twice. Well just the top once I guess and you do that three times. And what that does is it, it moves these two from here up to the top. So it moves them right here and here. So now those, that one, and that one need to be switched. So to switch them, you hold them on the bottom like this. And you make sure that one's facing you. And you have, and then what you do is you turn the top twice, the top two twice. I'm sorry, you do a... Uh, little u twice and then you do um, then you do this algorithm and that um, then switches this edge right here and that edge right there. So make sure you're still where you were before and then just do this algorithm. And it should then switch I don't know, it should switch a couple more pieces. But then what you do is turn the top twice and then do it again. And then what you'll get is you'll get this where this edge and this edge are switched. And then you still have the bottom two that are switched. So if you turn the top like this, you'll see that that edge and this edge, so you'll see that this edge and this edge are switched, and this edge and this edge are switched. So what you do is line them up like this, so that you have the two, that, so that you have them, you don't want it like that, you want it like that. And then what you do is you do this. And that should solve the parity. So, yes, that is everything on how to solve a 3x3x4 fully functional. I hope this helped. Um, and um, so, yeah, I guess that's it.